First, I must say that it is a real honor to even be considered for a teaching position at St. Bernadette's Academy. A mighty fine institution of learning. And to be a finalist reminds me of my American Idol. Um, anyway, you asked me a question. How do my Christian values influence my teaching style? Hmm. <clears throat> Christian values. Christian values. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, I didn't mean to take anyone's name in vain. I love Jesus all day, every day. <clears throat> that's, that's one of my Christian values, I reckon. And even though I would be teaching biology, I would... Bless every frog we dissect by saying, in Jesus' name, amen. I would start class with the sign of the cross. I would end each class by encouraging my students to go about their day to love and serve the Lord. I know that seems a bit like church, but shouldn't every day have a little bit of church in it? <laughs> Am I speaking in a Southern accent? Jesus Christ. Damn, I'm broken again. I, I can't shake this thing. Sorry, when I get nervous, I, I, uh, one second. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> it's uh, St. Patrick's Day coming up. <laughs> My niece painted these. She insisted I had no choice. Where were we? Uh, yes, right. My Christian values and how they enter my classroom. <clears throat> God is love, right? That's how I live my life. That's how we all need to live our lives, knowing that God is love and that he loves us no matter what. God just wants you to be happy. He made us in his image, after all, didn't he? And God makes no mistakes. That's what my grandmother, who went to church every day, used to say. Look, I, I can't hide who I am. I mean, I can take off my nail polish and pretend to be more presentable, if that'll make you feel more comfortable. But if you're asking about my Christian values, well, that's a dog whistle for something. And it's not calling out to a gay man who wears nail polish. And I know that we're, I, you know, I know that we're not supposed to say gay, uh, that, and that even though that only applies to Florida right now, eventually it'll make its way to Texas, you know? Just like the crabs my sister got in Daytona in her sophomore year at college at UT Austin. <clears throat> I'm a child of God. Why do I have to abandon myself or abandon my faith just because I have a husband? He painted these nails. And they're perfect. My niece would, not, would never be this neat. Uh, if it warped my niece, I'd look like I killed Shrek with my bare hands. Look, I know I'm not getting this job, so I'll just say this. I'd hope to bring my Christian values in any classroom I teach in, whether it's a religious school or not, because I would teach kids to love one another and love their neighbors and to speak kindly and to not judge because I am Christian and a gay man and a fan of nail polish and a great science teacher. If I can be all those things, then they can be all the things that make them children of God. 
And, uh, <clears throat> I mean, while I'm burning down bridges, maybe God is queer. I mean, he's got to be a little bit gay, a little bit trans, a little bit non-binary, a, a little bit of us all in order to have the imagination to create all of it. Wow, <laughs> if you could see all your faces, it's like you've never seen Dixie Carter as Julia Sugarbaker in Designing Women. <laughs> and with that, end meeting. It's the most like intense, nerve-wracking experience you could yeah. possibly have, but for some reason people love it and audiences <laughs> love it and everybody keeps going back year for year. I got to meet so many amazing humans in the middle of the pandemic and those connections uh, extend to collaborations I have today and I am so grateful for that experience. Any support you can give is so deeply felt. The 24 Hour Plays has provided such an amazing community for me and I would not be the artist I am today without it.